Good evening, good evening. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Pro Wrestling Talk video brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the Tube. My name is Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram. So I wanted to get on here and make a quick video talking about the newly announced Joshi Pro Wrestling promotion for the United States named Sukiban. It is official. That is the official name of this new promotion. And I just wanted to dive in a little bit, talk about some of the things that was announced, and also go over the roster. They've actually got a roster put together, which is quite interesting. Really, really interesting. Um, so first, starting out, uh, I will put a link in the description to the website. They got a website. Uh, they also are on Insta no excuse yeah, Instagram, Twitter, or X, and TikTok, I believe. So definitely, definitely check them out. Definitely check them out. But they just recently announced about the promotion. And as a matter of fact, it this is Something that had been talked about for a little while now, but now the details have finally come out. But yeah, it is a Japanese female wrestling league. They literally just joined uh, back in July, and already they're, you know, got quite a following. But the world premiere show will be in New York City on September 21st and as a matter of fact uh, it's at Capitale New York City and as a matter of fact tickets have already sold out in under two hours for the show that's right if you go to the site where you purchase tickets the best thing that you can do is uh, join the waiting list but, but yeah, um, they also have it listed that this is an all ages event. Um, but yeah, it's already sold out and apparently sold, sold out in like two hours from when it became available. But, um, Sukiban at the Capitol in North in New York city, that's September 21st at 8 PM, which is on a Thursday. It's on a Thursday. Isn't that kind of weird, y'all? It's debuting. The debut show is on a Thursday of all days. You know, not not on a Friday, not on a weekend day, but on a Thursday. That's kind of it's kind of weird. But I mean, you know, it did sell out. Tickets did sell out. So I mean, that by itself already says something um but yeah also i also checked out the trailer which you can watch the trailer on their website or on their social media pages and i have to say my immediate thoughts when i saw the the trailer it kind of gives me that that wow combined with ultimate muscle type of vibe but it's all it's all joshi it's all uh japanese female wrestlers that's that's the vibe that i get from it you know and it has it has that anime feel to it which is why i mentioned ultimate muscle uh but yeah it and then that wow you know that wow women of wrestling promotion that's also with the different um Joshi's dressed as different characters. That's that's another reason why I kind of have that that thought about it. And it's interesting. It's really interesting. So they're pretty much gonna be wrestling as, you know, these specific characters and not exactly, you know, the wrestling ring names that we're used to that we're used to seeing, which I'll go over, you know, the roster in a in a moment. But I have to say, 
the trailer looks very fancy. Um, has that that anime spiel to it, which which looks cool. It looks cool, you know. And me being an anime fan, I mean, I'm wearing a Cowboy Bebop shirt. That should tell you something. Um, I def I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued by this. You know, I know that you know recently. You know, we've been hearing news about you know Joshi Pro Wrestling Promotions getting started in the U.S. I mean, we just recently had Spark that uh, happened back in uh, late May, going into June. Uh, we got Kitsune uh, coming up in October, and now we have the confirmed Sukeban. Uh, wrestling promotion September 21st and it was also said that there's going to be like more news on future shows you know coming up within a matter of the next couple of weeks or so probably throughout the month of September there's probably going to be more news and there was even a a press release. There was even a press release. Um, but yeah. It's going to have... Um, oh, and shout outs to um, Scott E. Wrestling on uh, Twitter slash X. Which um, I'll put a link to, to this tweet in the description. That uh, has the information about uh, the uh, presser. So, you know, just a couple of things from this. Uh, it says, and I quote, Sukeban, the first ever Joshi women's wrestling company outside of Japan featuring an entirely Japanese roster, will hold its world premiere event on September 21st, 2023 at Capital in New York City. Featuring the strongest women's roster in North America, Sukeban will harken back to the glory days of Joshi wrestling to the to present the authentic, hard-hitting, phenomenal Joshi experience. Um, as a matter of fact, as I said before, tickets went on sale, and as a matter of fact, they went on sale uh, earlier today at 10 a.m., but yeah, they've sell sold out in about under two hours. Uh, and one of the things it mentioned was the main event of this upcoming event will be Ichiko Sayaka versus Countess Sayori with the winner competing for the Sukiban World Championship at the second event in the United States to be announced in the coming weeks. So they're already, you know, got plans. And remember, this was the promotion that Bull Nakano supposedly is going to be having her hands in on and off camera. So that says a lot. That says a lot. And apparently this has been in the works for a while, for a good long while. So that really, that really says a lot. Um, there's also a couple of things that were mentioned uh, in this presser it says, in addition to exciting wrestlers added to the roster, the world premiere event at Capitol in New York City features several elements that will make the, the event unique. It says uh, the championship belt unveiled in New York, designed and created by the greatest industrial designer of the generation, Mark Newson. Wrestler costumes and all merchandise designed by world famous creative director and fashion designer. Olympia Leton, hats created by the most important milliner in history, Stephen Jones, fingernail art by social media superstar Mei Kawajira, um, nails by Mei, and anime and manga art by fast rising artist and author Sakana Koji. It's quite a staff there. Um, the debut event in New York will be followed by further events around the United States and globally with additional plans to be announced in the coming weeks, you know, which was like I was saying before. 
With amb ambitious growth plans and a strategic focus on its content ecosystem, Sukiban is poised to expand operations worldwide and pull from numer numerous lucrative revenue streams. Well, I mean, I definitely, I'm definitely in interested. I'm very interested, you know, and you know what else this made me kind of think of as, as I, you know, look back at this trailer? I was also thinking of um, Glow as well. Kind of, kind of makes me think of Glow. You know, especially with the, the costumes, the different characters, but, but yeah. But um, this definitely has me intrigued. And for it to, you know, tickets to sell out in two hours, that already adds on to the hype. That adds on to the hype. But before I go into talking about the roster, here's a quick word on the sponsor for this video, Game Beauty. As you continue to watch and enjoy Blitzball Champ gaming content here on the U to the Tube, be sure you take a moment to check out the link to the description for Game Beauty. Game Beauty offers a variety of video game themed makeup and cosmetic products. They offer items such as eyeshadow palettes, elemental pearl highlighters, eyeshadow brushes, and even non-makeup items such as these graphic t-shirts. They also have collaboration items like this Persona 5 Royal Limited Edition makeup collection, as you can see here, which you can get it as a full collection, or you can get different bundles of this collection as well as different pieces separately. Also, Game Beauty offers free domestic and international shipping to most countries for orders over $60. And be sure to use the promo code BLITZBALL underscore CHAMP, all in caps, and you can get 10% off of your order. So be sure to take advantage of that nice little discount. And now, back to our regularly scheduled video. Enjoy. Okay, so they already have a roster up on their, on their website. And the interesting thing is they have four factions. Four factions, which are the Vandals, the Cherry Bomb Girls, Dangerous Liaisons, and the Harajuku Stars. Those are the, those are the four factions. Uh, and I must say, the roster that they put together for this promotion, pretty dang on good. It's actually pretty dang on good. So... I don't know who everybody is, but just judging by, you know, pictures that I'm seeing, some of the, some of the names are pretty obvious. So, first off, looking at the Vandals, let's see. We got four four members of the Vandals: o Otaku Chan, Midnight Player, Atomic Banshee, and Bingo. So Otaku-chan is pretty much um, it's played by Kaori Yanayama, um, which not a crazy fan of her as Fuki Ken Death, but a well-known Joshi wrestler, uh, Kaori Yanayama. So it's kind of it's kind of neat that they have her in this promotion. But that's who Otaku-chan is. Midnight player 
is Owie from Just Tap Out. So I think this is her first. I think this is going to be her first time in the United States, if I remember correctly. I don't think she's ever been to the United States. So this is cool that they were able to get Owie for this promotion. And I, I would love to meet Owie. You know, she's um, definitely one of my faves. But it's pretty cool that they got that they got her for this promotion. But she will be a midnight player. So good to see Owie. Uh, Atomic Banshee is Ram Kaicho, which, you know, Ram Kaicho has been to the States, um, yeah, I want to say a few times now. I know she participated in the Spark uh, Joshi Pro Wrestler show. So, um, yeah, but she's going to be part of this promotion. So that's cool. That's really cool. And then Bingo, which Bingo is a masked wrestler. Um, I'm not too sure who this is. I'm not not sure who this is, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure who it is, but but anyway, that's that's the Vandals. All right, let's look at Cherry Bomb Girls. There's three ladies for uh, Cherry Bomb Girls. You have Super Sonic. Which I want to say, I think Supersonic, which is another masked wrestler, I want to say, I want to say it's Hiroyo Matsumoto, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I, I want to say it's Hiroyo Matsumoto, but I'm actually not too sure. Okay. We have Crush You, which is you, of course, the current uh, Queen of JTO uh, champion. But yeah, good to see uh, you um, on this roster. Uh, let's see. And then there's Rico Blonde, who's played by Rico Kaiju, of course, um, one half of the current Seedling Beyond the Sea tag team champions with Ayame Sasamura. So, um, I think this is also her first time in the United States. So, it's cool. It's really cool. But um, just three ladies for uh, Cherry Bomb Girls. Okay. Let's take a look at Dangerous Liaisons. So, there's four members of Dangerous Liaisons, and actually all four are pretty obvious. You have Queen of Hearts, which is um, Miyuki Takase, the Phoenix of Osaka, who has wrestled quite a bit in the States, especially through DPW. So definitely good to see her uh, part of this promotion. We have Countess Sayori, played by Sayori, uh, Sayori Ano, which, you know, that's pretty cool that she's gonna be coming to the states i don't even know if she's ever been to the to the u.s so it's cool that they got her recruited for this promotion but i guess she's gonna be rather busy especially being part of stardom and doing other promotions in japan but hey i love it uh we have commander nakajima played by arisa nakajima former seedling beyond the sea singles champion uh really good to see her uh, part of this promotion. Um, I'm assuming that she's probably maybe the leader. I could be wrong, but I think it's really cool that she's uh, part of this promotion. So, really cool. And then Lady Antoinette, played by Risa Sarah. Um, it took me a while to figure out who this was because at first glance, I couldn't quite tell. But as I got a closer look, zoomed in on her face, I was like, wait a minute, that's Risa Sarah. That's Risa Sarah. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, Risa Sarah coming to the U.S. I love it. I love it. So that's uh, Dangerous Liaisons. And then the, the fourth uh, faction is the Harujuku Stars. 
which is made up of Maya Mamushi, Babyface, and Ichiko Sayaka. So Maya Mamush Mamushi is uh, Maya Yukihi. So it's good to see her back back in the U.S. I know I got a chance to meet her through uh, DPW um, at DPW Victory Lap. So glad to see that she's back. She'll be back in the States. Uh, Babyface, which I couldn't tell at first, but um, it's Ancham. Ancham. Uh, which I don't know her that well, but um, I noticed uh, looking on social media from others that have seen the uh, the roster, it was pointed out that that was Ancham. So that's pretty cool, but she's Babyface. And then Ichiko Sayaka, played by Unagi Sayaka. So those are the three members of the Harajuku Stars. And they do have one unaffiliated member. Actually, yeah, they have one unaffiliated member named Stray Cat. Which, judging by, um, in her description, uh, Karate bat Black Belt. She's a masked wrestler, but judging by Karate Black Belt and previous news leading up to the information about this promotion, I assume that this is Tomoka Inaba. Because if you remember, a while back, she was one of the names that was mentioned. So, it's got to be Tomoka Inaba. So, I believe this will be her way of making her U.S. debut through Sukiban. So, that's really cool. So, four factions, and you have one unaffiliated. So, let's see. We got four, eight, twelve, fifteen wrestlers on this roster. Not bad. Not bad. For getting this promotion started, not bad. 15 wrestlers? Um, shoot, you can build out a, a decent card with that. For their first show, you can, build, you can build out a decent card. But yeah, that's the rundown of the, of the full roster. Um, they don't have any merch yet, which you know I'm sure there will be some come time for that first show. But, you know, their main, their main website, just on the front, says Sukiban, a Japanese female wrestling league. And you know what? I think it looks cool. I like the design. And, you know, I like what they have coming. Or I like what they have going here. So, I'm, I'm not familiar with the venue that they're going to be using, but... I think it's really interesting. And actually, they have... Uh, oh, I actually just saw the... Uh, ooh, y'all, check this out. Check this out. Here, I'm, uh, I'm actually... Check this out. So, apparently, this is the venue. This is apparently the venue. Look at that. So they got themselves a fancy venue for this show. This is uh, the Capitol in New York City. That's pretty fancy looking. I like that. I like that. So you know, I don't know. I don't know how many people. I don't know what the capacity is, but. You know, it, it looks pretty neat. It looks pretty neat. I mean, it's probably like a, uh, I don't know, maybe a, a wedding hall. Maybe mostly used for a wedding hall, but I mean, it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. And apparently, word is that the owner or behind this is uh, Dream Slam Productions, 
LLC. But, but yeah, if anything, I'm very interested in checking this out uh, once it becomes available. And, you know, with how fast this event has sold out, it's a lot of hype. There's a lot of hype. And, you know, but the roster that they got, the names that they got, are some pretty, pretty known names. So, I definitely like what they have going. But, uh, yeah, that's Sukiban for you. Um, that'll do it for this video. Uh, don't forget to um, definitely check out the link in the description for Game Beauty. And also check out the links in the description to uh, the presser and also the website. So definitely check that out and you can check out the roster, look at some stuff. And let me know what your thoughts are. What do y'all think about the announcement for Sukiban, this new Joshi wrestling promotion here in the U.S. getting ready to debut Thursday, September 21st in New York City. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on the roster. Um, just, you know, do you think it will go well? Do you think it will end up being a success? Like I said, looking at the trailer, it reminds me of like a WoW, Glow, Ultimate Muscle anime vibe to it, which is very unique. It's very unique. And, you know, they got quite a number of well-known names on this roster. So, hey, let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, but don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video for another Pro Wrestling Talk brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the Two. My name is Jason Ingram. Hope everybody enjoys their evening and the rest of their weekend. And I will see y'all in the next video. Laters.